But the, the interesting thing about what, uh, what Matthew has done from, a, from an art dealer perspective and from a, an art historical perspective, the first image I saw come up on the computer screen, I just became extremely excited because I don't think there is another artist in this country who is doing uh, work so profoundly um, important, so humorous, and on top of all that, technically so skilled. I saw it barely five minutes before most of you came here, but I was completely astounded because when I looked at the invitation, I thought it was a photograph. And little did I know how fabulous these paintings were when I came across them. But then even more extraordinary was the levels of irony and humor and uh, synchronicity. And just to, to put it into some sort of context as far as the technical point of view, Matthew works pretty much every day at extraordinary hours. He's only been a couple of days off uh, really over the last you know, year, 18 months um, to put this body of work together. And just to put Matthew into a context, to relax he's going to go and climb, uh, as he put it, a little bit past base camp on Everest uh, next week. So, you know, it gives you a bit of an insight into the way uh, this amazing artist takes and you know I've spent a lot of time looking at art and it's incredible to watch when careers really start taking off and we, we've been lucky enough to work with some amazing uh, artists over the last decade and uh, right here today we're seeing, um, seeing an artist take a step in a, in a direction which is you know, really extraordinary. So many faces here, so many unfamiliar faces, some not from Sydney, so it's kind of nice to get a turnout. You always fear that these things are going to be sort of you and your family, and that's kind of it. So I really appreciate it.